you can say say a lot of things about Bernie Sanders, but I mean, he was involved in the civil rights movement back in the sixties. Uh, he's anything. I mean, the guy was elected as a socialist candidate uh, for mayor of Burlington, Vermont, uh, which some people call the People's Republic of Burlington. Yeah, what does that tell the leftists that support him? Many of them, you know, are well-meaning people that the, that the Democratic Party would, would, would use political correctness on them. That ought to be a wake-up call. Yeah, that. And you had Joe Biden, by the way, almost sounding like Joe McCarthy saying, uh, McCarthy saying, well, you know, we know that Bernie Sanders is a, a card car carrying socialist. Like, wow, you know, is that sort of like McCarthy saying, I got a, here in my, my hand a list of 57 uh, known communists in the State Department when, in fact, he was speaking at a banquet and he noticed he got the number from a bottle of Heinz 57 steak sauce sitting on the banquet table. Well, the truth is, we know the big robber barons were funding Stalin and Mao and all of them the whole time. I mean, it's fascism couples with socialism and communism to control because it's really all crony capitalism. And until we wake up to that dichotomy, it's game over. We've got loaded phones with Steve and Howard and Ryan and Ronnie and everybody and Kevin. I'm sure they're going to want to end up talking to David Knight. I've, I've got to punch out of here. Got to as many as I could. Great job, Wayne Madsen. Thank you so much for all you do. Good to be with you, Alex. WayneMadsonReport.com. Check out his great ebooks and physical books there. He's a great journalist, and uh, I want to be able to send him to the RNC, the DNC, to Davos. He wants to go cover the Hadron Collider. I'm with my accountants literally when I leave here. They're, they're all waiting in there right now to see how much money we've got for reporters uh, out in the field.